So the category of squat, why are we doing it? A, it's a foundational movement, meaning A, we're born to do it, every baby can do this, and we think because we get older, we're like, oh, well, I got older, so I lost the ability to squat. Quite the opposite. The system taught you to lose how to squat. We sit all day long, we are not in this position, we get home, we're sitting on couches, so we need to ingrain the squat. I'm telling you right now, this is almost issue number one at this level of high school right now. Not only is our squat pattern wrong, we are now loading the squat pattern. And you're just asking for a lifelong issue, whether that's lower back, hips, whatever it is. And then also, we're not doing our jobs if we're not educating the why of this movement and then also the proper competency of this movement. So the very basics of how I'll begin teaching, especially to an elementary middle school, let's just let them learn it on their own, okay? Too many times, you know, people are like, oh, you gotta fit in these boxes. Guys, it's not the case. We have at least a minimum of eight different hip structures that we know about. So that's why some people are more pigeon-toed, some people more be, might be ducked out. The ability of the foot is how we will go through where they need to be, but understand that not everybody's gonna fit into a box. So we can have an entire class, and here's the basics. Feet somewhat straight ahead, okay? Don't make everybody get straight right off the get-go because not everybody can get there, okay? Actually, some people will actually keep jamming their hip and over time it becomes an issue. So if some feel comfortable ducked out, good. I would use minimal cues, especially as the younger at the younger uh, level here. So feet somewhat straight ahead, okay? At, hopefully we've already gone over our breathing because I think doing our movements and now once these guys have learned their breathing patterns, that's a great time to try it. So, the ribcage is slightly pulled down, all right? We obviously don't want to be super arched, and we don't want to be super round. I will always begin younger levels with that eccentric that we did for the push-up. So as we're coming down, right, what are we looking for? We're looking for the knees to drive out, the heel to stay down, and that's about it for right now, especially at the younger level. So we're coming down, five, four, three, two, one. Now, the standard, I don't care how, old, how tall they are, is hamstring to calf. Without load, everybody can do it. And don't be too nervous if you see them round. That's okay with no load, right? So we wanna to get to this position. Feet somewhat straight, feet somewhat straight, knees are driving out, chest is upright for the most part. And then we can have them stand all the way up. But using that slow countdown will ingrain that pattern. Once you start to do maybe a couple days of that, you can then go a little bit quicker, three, two, one, and then pause at the bottom for five, four, three, two, one. For the beginning stages, I would really just work to slow down in the pauses, and maybe even before anything, just a squat hold, preferably with their shoes off. I know that's difficult, but with our shoes off, we can truly squat. With, with their shoes that they're wearing, especially now, it's putting them into positions that are horrible and it's very even tough to coach what's happening because everything happens from there. Remember, everything touches the ground only at our foot. That is it, not our hips, not anything else. So even if you just start classes and you don't wanna go through the whole squat pattern, well, just like those baby sits, maybe after you hit your baby sits, everybody just sits in their squat and tries to breathe for 30 seconds and then you progress it every week, you go up by 10 more seconds. But the basics of our squat, just to reiterate, feet somewhat straight ahead. Okay, our first action is we're gonna sit in back. Don't shoot the knees forward first, we're sitting back. Our knees are driving out, but remember, why our knees are driving out? Our knees only do, it's like a hinge joint, okay? Flexion, extension, that's it. Our knees don't do this, that comes from our ankle and our hip. So when we're really saying knees drive out, just so you understand, we're actually creating torque. So I'm going almost to the outside part of my foot, my big toe is still down, but externally rotating our hip and getting that whole rotation, that's torque. Now it allows me to sit. If you've ever seen a baby, their knees are way drive down and they're just sitting like this, okay? Again, don't be too, too care, don't be too worried about a little bit of a round, but we're trying to have a little bit of an angle of our, tor of our torso and our shin about the same. We don't want something like this and please, Stop cueing and push through our heels. That's not how we squat. That's a powerlifting thing, and we are not powerlifters. Um, I'm gonna keep putting out squat videos throughout the year, but those are the basics, and please test it out on yourself. 
my big suggestion is start with the holds, then go to the one where you're actually moving through it. But just like the push-up, I think if you do two sets of five reps every day, imagine what that looks like after eight years.